around how you approach the last two days or anything like that? Um, I guess in a way it's, it's definitely got to change things. It's, it takes away a fair chunk of time in the game, but I guess it's also, um, I guess you get your minds ticking of what you're going to try and do for the next two days. Um, it's obviously going to be hard going um, batting-wise still, for the, I'd say for the majority of the test match anyway, so uh, it's going to be quite intriguing, but it's also um, going to produce some pretty positive cricket, so it's going to be an exciting couple of days, I reckon. So there should be enough time, you think, to... to to possibly get a result out of this? Yeah, definitely. I think both teams will be having that, that same positive sort of mindset into winning the game. We've got to score a good, some good runs and then take some good wickets. Um, and then on their point, they've got to do the same thing. We're still, we're only two down in our first innings at the moment, so they've got to take eight more wickets uh, and then another 10 in the second innings. And for us, we've got to score some runs and then try and get another 10 wickets. So uh, all in all, I think both teams will be, be going full steam ahead trying to get a victory. Just a couple more from me. Is there any run target that you guys see that, that you want to be ahead by? And, and in terms of the pitch, are you expecting similar or still move around and do a bit? Yeah, I'd say so. Cause, I mean, it's obviously been under covers all day today uh, and a fair bit of the game anyway. And I guess the, the moisture around in the air has, has, hasn't made the pitch deteriorate quite as much as it probably would normally. Um, but from a batting point of view, it's just a, at first, it's about actually trying to get a lead. Um, India obviously bowled really well uh, yesterday. And, and the guys did some got some sort of some hard work under their belt and those those overs that they faced. So uh, tomorrow it's more about starting, um, getting the guys in, getting the I guess the the movements and the plans going, and, and however they bowl to us to sort of react to that, and then hopefully we can get a get a lead and sort of see what happens from there, pretty much. Yeah, fair enough. And just lastly, mate, for me, who is the best darts player and who is the best table tennis player out of the team? <laughs> I tell you what, there's going to be some. There was a few competitions today with table tennis. There was a singles comp and there was a doubles comp and and darts go sort of all going at once. So um, I'll go with okay. Willie Nichols is waving his hands behind me, saying he was on the on the winning team. So we'll give it to him. Of course he is. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Sport and Wellington. Uh, what what are the details have you told? How many? Hopefully, how many overs uh, you try and get through the last two days? Well, it's, I think it's just nine eight overs a day. So we sort of go from from normal start time at ten thirty, and then um, just go the full day from there. Uh, the weather's meant to be meant to be pretty good for the next two days. So um, I think with with that, and I guess the prospect of winning a test match for for two teams here, it's it's going to be exciting. Um, I guess so. I, mean, I guess that's that's one of those things you sort of look at um, the possibility of. Um, I don't think beginning from tomorrow, I can't see that being the case at all because I mean it's obviously been under covers for all of today and and a fair chunk of the match anyway. So I'd imagine tomorrow again the, the fast bowlers will be the ones going full steam ahead and trying to get that ball to swing and to nip around and and make it tough for batters. Um, but then also you sort of see what happens through tomorrow and then. I guess leading into the last day. If we can get a lead and a, and a, a big enough lead, then that'll be good. If we if we can't, um, then we've got to bowl well and then and sort of see what we can get uh, in terms of a, a target. I guess if we bowl India out on the last day. Uh, with two days to play, uh, and you know you'd like to set a target, but I'm assuming you can't really go straight on the attack because you still have to you know make sure you don't lose it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, that's, but that's part of the, the I guess the, the oh, I guess the part of the test match how it is and how it's sort of positioned at the moment is it's about starting all over again. I think the Kane and Ross have to go out there and they're going to start a brand new day on a on a wicket that's that's been covered and, and the way the the fast bowlers have been bowling in this this entire game so far it's it's been pretty tough for the batters to to get away and to f- score freely. So. Um, it's about just batting, and if we can bat for as long as we can tomorrow, um, that'd be uh, that'd be very good for us in the long run. I think. Yeah, because you must back your uh, bowling attack on the last day. Definitely, I mean, we back the batters to bat, and we back the bowlers to bowl. I think we've done really well 
to get to this position um, from the last few years of playing Test cricket. The batter's done a fantastic job on on different surfaces, and as we're now at home, we play on some green surfaces, so we've been able to make good runs on green surfaces at home. And then we also know what our bowling attack can do on on different wickets. We can bowl teams out on on green ones. We can bowl teams out on flat ones. So. All in all, we're, we've got full confidence in the guys out there, and, and we'd certainly back them to to go out and do their best. I'm sure you, you know everyone's focusing on the on the game at the moment, but is there a little feeling of perhaps disappointment as to you know how it's panned out so far? Oh, I think so. I think that's going to be a natural part of it. I think everyone, not just these two teams, I think the the viewers around the world wanting to see a result and. And when weather sort of um, has an impact, I think that sort of gets a bit disappointing for everyone. But unfortunately, that's just the nature of the sport. And it's the nature of being in different countries. Different things happen. So it's not something you can control. And you've just got to deal with it and move on. And, and we've got two good days coming up. And, and we'll get as much cricket as we can in those two days. And then hopefully, at the end of it, we get the result we're after. Thank you. Thanks. Um, yeah, you've got to stay positive. You've always got to look at the end result and, and be positive about it. I think if you, you get on the negative side, then you're sort of on the back foot already. So both teams will be thinking the same thing. It's, there's still a whole lot of test credit, 98 overs a day. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of time in a game to get a result. And if both teams go out and, and play their best, then it's going to be really interesting. Uh, it's exciting for, for both teams, and, and we're sort of certainly going into it full of confidence. Well, I don't see why. I mean, every team can win here. Every result is possible. I think with what the surfers has been doing throughout the game, um, they've bowled really well, and we were, we were we batted really well to get through some some tough spells from their fast bowlers. So they have to go into the the next few days with that same sort of confidence. We're going to do it, so they'll do it. They've been a fantastic test team for a long, long time. So I don't see why they're going to change their mindset because of a bit of rain and the prospect of what may happen in a few days. I think they're going to get their full steam ahead and, and we're ready for that and we're, we'll be doing exactly the same. So this is kind of your style of cricket, isn't it? Like um, it's all got to happen quite quickly. Are you, are you looking forward to seeing what's going to happen? Um, well, when you say that, I mean, you've got to be positive, but also you've got to know that they're going to bowl well. I don't expect teams to go out and be scoring 200 runs a session. It might take you all day to score 250, but... If we can bat the whole day and, and do something like that, that gives us a bit of a lead and it gives us a, an up in the game. And then from the Indian point, they're going to come out and try and take wickets on a, on a surface that has been, been good for bowling. So um, I just think it's exciting. It's going to be positive cricket from everyone and it's going to be a really exciting couple of days.